Hi everyone, welcome to Understand Heart, where we learn about anything and everything heart related. Today, we will be talking about the World Heart Rhythm Week, and I'll use this opportunity to explain one of the commonest diseases in the conduction system, atrial fibrillation. These are the time stems of the topics I'm covering today, so let's get started. The World Heart Rhythm Week is an annual event organized by the Arrhythmia Alliance to promote awareness on detecting arrhythmias or irregular heart rhythm. The message this year is Don't Miss a Beat, which emphasizes the importance of pulse checks, which can decrease the number of sudden cardiac deaths and undiagnosed atrial fibrillation cases every year. So what is atrial fibrillation? Irregular heart rhythm or known medically as atrial fibrillation or AF or AFib is the commonest heart rhythm disease in the world, affecting up to 33.5 million people worldwide and is continuing to increase annually. It is associated with increased risk of stroke, death and heart failure. The detection of AF involves only a 30 seconds pulse check, which anyone can do. So what happens in AF? Relating back to my last video describing the conduction system of the heart using the analogy of Alfred's house, AF occurs when the top floor of Alfred's house becomes haunted. These ghosts, like many which appears in the movies, like to play around with the light switches in the house, making the lights flicker instead of switching on and off normally. As Alfred is very much afraid of ghosts, he runs away from his house leaving no one to control the light switch. And because the lights on the top floor are no longer regularly turning on and off, we lose the P wave on the ECG, which is replaced by fibrillation waves. The irregular light makes it difficult for light sensor switch to control the ground floor lights regularly, and therefore it results in an irregular rhythm. This reflects the irregular nature of the pulse, which we feel during AF in real life. The treatment of AF generally comprises of three main areas, the heart rhythm itself, associated diseases and the prevention of stroke. Managing the heart rhythm is divided into two main strategies, controlling the heart rate or restoring normal rhythm. Commonly, controlling the heart rate includes the use of medications such as a beta blocker to slow the heart down. This is the equivalent of slowing the ghosts down as they cannot flicker the switch too quickly. Slowing down the heart rate can reduce the associated symptoms. Restoring the heart rhythm consists of three strategies. Medical, which includes long-term or the pill in the pocket approach. Electrical, which uses direct current to convert the rhythm. And mechanical cardioversion, comprising of catheter ablation and the surgical maze procedure which are only used in heart surgery settings. I would say these methods are the equivalent of calling the ghostbusters to bust them away. Managing associated disease such as high blood pressure and heart failure should also be part of the management of AF as well controlled risk factors can improve control of atrial fibrillation and the associated risks. Just like employing different measures to prevent haunting of a house, Controlling risk factors will prevent AF from recurring. Lastly, as the stagnation of blood can lead to clotting, the prevention of stroke is highly important in AF. This includes the use of oral anticoagulation in the form of warfarin or a non vitamin K antagonist oral anticoagulant or NOAC for short, which thins the blood and prevents formation of clots. This is normally recommended for patients who are at risk of stroke and is based upon a clinical risk calculator called the charts to vast score. Now that we have established how important AF is, how do we support this movement? Using the power of social media, you can spread the word on social media using the hashtag World Heart Rhythm Week and hashtag WHRW2020. Secondly, we can encourage people to check their pulses regularly. This can be done by a simple manual palpation, which anyone can do in 30 seconds. So how do we check our pulse? First, you identify your radial artery, 
which is located on the underside of the arm on the side closest to the thumb. Then, you place two fingers firmly along the wrist and you should be able to feel a pulsation just hitting the tips of your fingers. Lastly, count the number of beats you feel over 30 seconds and multiply that by 2. This will be your heart rate in a minute. Whilst you are counting the heart rate, notice the rhythm. It should be regular so you can predict when the next beat will come. If it is irregular, then there is a potential that this could be AF. You can do this at any time during the day when you get the chance to. This is especially useful when you suffer from symptoms such as palpitations, breathlessness or dizziness and can detect irregularities of your pulse during this period as AF can be transient. A simple pulse check is beneficial in majority of situations but if you own any devices such as the Apple Watch or the Cardia Mobile by LiveCore, recording a tracing of your heart during periods where symptoms occur may help doctors with confirming a diagnosis. It also stores a tracing of your ECG which you can show to your doctor during consultation which can definitely prove useful in some of the patients that we see. As healthcare professionals, when we are seeing patients, taking 30 seconds when performing physical examination to screen for irregular pulse can help identify asymptomatic AF. Also, take the chance to educate our patients on how to check their own pulse. Not only is the treatment of AF important, addressing the different cardiovascular risk factors linked with AF can reduce the impact of AF on mortality. Ensuring good control of hypertension, encouraging healthy lifestyle habits to promote physical activity and weight loss can all contribute to improving the outcomes of our patients. Encouraging compliance of medication in patients is also important. Educating patients on the rationale behind medications which are taking and answering questions about them can promote compliance. This can come a long way in ensuring good outcomes in all our patients. To summarize, it is important to recognize AF as it remains a highly treatable disease with potentially disastrous outcome if left untreated. With the use of technology, we have come a long way to be able to diagnose AF and hopefully this will become more commonplace so we can identify and treat this disease more promptly and effectively. For now, the action of palpating the pulse which has been performed throughout the history of medicine will hold the key to identifying more cases and prevent the next stroke. So spread the knowledge. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to support my work and enable notifications if you want to be informed when I post my next video. Please comment below if there are any particular topics that you would like me to cover and I will try my best to do it. If you would like to get in touch, please email me or DM me on my social media platform. Thank you for watching.